Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm a fiance now, so I am basking in the moment. But let's jump right into this Get Ready With Me V-Day edition. So this look is for our movie date that we're having this evening. Not too fancy, but uh, very sassy as always. <laughs> My brows are already done, um, but if you would like for me to make a video on how I do my brows, leave a comment below. This is the L'Oreal True Match um, foundation that I'm wearing. I've been wearing it for the past couple of months and I love it. It's very light, um, it's not oily. Oh, and let me say this now before we go any further. I am not a makeup artist, nor do I aspire to be a makeup artist. I just like playing in makeup, okay? So do not mind my technique. Do not mind how I blend eyeshadow because I do not know, nor do I care. I just like how it looks in the end. So, yeah. I want y'all coming at my head. And I know there's some sort of fancy primer that I can use, but I like using concealer to set my eyeshadow. When I first started wearing makeup back in college, I used to be really into like color eyeshadow, but now I am like a nude girl. I try to stick to nude palettes. Um, I may every so often, every so often do um, a color eye, but I really don't know how to do all of that, so I don't dabble too much <laughs> um, I try every now and then but yeah I just stick to, to what I know and what I like and I just love a nude matte eye it's, it's just something about that look that I just love it's just classic I'm using shades from my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, also my More Than Meets the Eye Palette from Sephora. Um, got it as a Christmas gift and I absolutely love it. This is my favorite liner, it's from Benefit, it's their, their real push up liner, it's a gel liner. I recommend this to everyone when they ask me what liner I use. Um, it has this like flex tip that helps you like make the perfect wing liner. I mean I love it, it's easy, it's not messy um, like most liquid or gel liners, uh, but it's very expensive, it's like 20, 22, 24 dollars I think. It was like 19 at some point, I believe. I know I'm not tripping, but yeah, it has gotten a little expensive. So for the past year or so, I've been using LA Cosmetics um, Pro Long Wear Concealer in the color Fawn. Uh, but lately I've been going back to my MAC Cosmetics uh, NC42, I believe. Just because it's a little bit lighter, I found that Fawn was like too close to my complexion and it wasn't giving me that highlight that I wanted. So back to Old Faithful, good old MAC. And this is just a black opal that I am um, contouring with. Uh, I don't remember the color, but I'll look it up and uh, tag it below for you guys. And I've purchased other shades um, of the LA Cosmetics Concealer, but I just have not been able to find my shade. Everything is a little too ashy for me. I am eyeing the NARS uh, concealer though. I do want to try that one out. If anyone has any suggestions on any great concealers, tag them below, please. I am so excited about seeing 50 Shades Darker tonight. Oh my God, this is going to be so much fun. And we always have a good time. It doesn't matter what we do on Valentine's Day. If we do it big, do it small, as long as we together, we are A-OK. -okay. And um, this is a good way to save some money. Those dang on Valentine's Day prefix menus at the restaurants be ridiculous, y'all. They be crazy. But anywho, 
this is the worst part of doing makeup for me. I just have not mastered lashes. As you can see, I'm horrible. Like, I get glue everywhere. I did a little bit better this time, but I have not figured it out. Like, I've had makeup artists tell me the tricks and, you know, little stuff to do. It's how you look at it, blah, blah, blah. My little left hand cannot get with the program, y'all. It's just, it's sad. Back to my rant. <laughs> I think because I've been planning this wedding, like I have become frugal Frida. Like I just value the dollar so much, value my money so much more now because it's like when you're saving for a home, like every dollar counts and you are very cautious of what you spend your money on. And so, you know, just preparing to be a wife and preparing to you know, take care of a household. Uh, I, I'm very, very cautious about how I spend my money. So yeah, we, we did dinner on Saturday. Like we beat the, the cost of the Valentine's Day turn up and we had dinner on Saturday and we're doing movies on Tuesday and we gonna turn up a little bit and have a good little time. Um, you know, don't don't feel that you have to go with society on everything guys like do what you want to do you know don't don't feel like you got to break the bank like my friend said uh, he posted his girlfriend and he said uh, fine and frugal I just thought that was the cutest thing because everybody wants to be bad and bougie everybody want to be you know just so materialistic and so worried about things that don't matter like it's it's a million ways that you can celebrate your love for one another and not break the bank yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Pause. I did uh, actually spend a grip on this Becca Cosmetics. You know, that was not a cautious purchase. But girls, you know how we are with our makeup. And I've been wanting this forever. And I ran out of highlighter and I was like, you know what? I'm just going, you know, I'm going to love on me a little bit for this Valentine's Day. I'm going to give me a little gift. So <laughs> this was my gift to myself. And I love this champagne pop. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. This is my all-time favorite lip stain. Well, favorite red lip stain. It's the Sephora brand. I think it's like number one. I don't know the color, uh, but you won't miss it. Like, it's amazing. It stays on all day. I wear this to work every day. It's, it's Delta Red. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it, and it's like 13, maybe $14, I think. But yeah, if you haven't tried it, please do. Yes, queen sitting. <laughs> you know you gotta hype yourself up sometimes. I have the privilege and the honor of working with my amazing friend here by Bobby. Um, he did this frontal install. This is the second time I've had a frontal by him. And I just love working with Bobby. He's just amazing. Get into this hair though, y'all. And that's a wrap. Thanks for getting ready with me. I know I've talked the entire time, but I miss y'all. I gotta do better, y'all. Goodness, it's been too long. love you guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment below thank you so so much for tuning in and rocking with me and supporting me always bye